nine out of 10 teens say that they would postpone sex or make safer sex choices if they had an open and honest dialogue with their parents. Hi, I'm Christy Milliken, family nurse practitioner at Cone Health Center for Children, a member of Cone Health Medical Group. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to have that conversation. It can be difficult for parents to know when they should start talking to their children about sex. And there's not really a certain age to say. There may be um, a situation where one child has heard more from older siblings or um, has heard something that maybe another child at the same age has not heard. The biggest thing for parents to know is to be comfortable with the message that you're trying to send to your children. Make sure that you've taken some time to think about what you want to say and the message that you want to send to your children before you actually get into that conversation. When a child starts to ask questions about their body and how their body parts are different or what they may have seen on television, it can be difficult for parents to know how to start the conversation with their child about sex. One of the things that you can do is use what's around you. Use those opportunities when you're watching TV or a movie, or maybe you're in the car and you hear song lyrics and it's talking about relationships. Those are great times to start that conversation. It's really important that you're not talking at your child. You want it to be a dialogue and you want both of you to be a part of the conversation. One of the easiest questions to say first is, what do you think about that? And if your teen says, I don't know, and shrugs it off, then that gives you a chance to say, well, this is actually what I think about that. The important part to remember is that it's not one big talk. It's actually lots of small pieces of information where you're able to share your values and what's important to your family with your child throughout multiple conversations. It can be difficult to know how often you should have the conversation, but I think going back to those conversation starters, use every opportunity if your teen is asking you about um, things that are going on in the world, things that happened on the TV show last night, um, maybe things that are happening to friends and family, use those opportunities when you can to um, share those values. It's okay to not have all of the answers. In fact, teens just want you to be honest with them and give them the facts. So if you're caught off guard with a question or if you're not sure what to say, you can just tell your teen, hey, we're gonna look this up together and this is the information that's important for us to know together and this is how we're gonna do this. Regardless of what you wanna to say to your child in terms of your family's values around sexual relationships, it's most important that a parent talk to their child about the safety around sexual relationships. And that includes pregnancy prevention or birth control and the reduction of sexually transmitted infections. So in every conversation that you have, you should always be talking about condom use with every single sexual encounter. If a parent finds it difficult to start this conversation or to have these words with their child, they can always go to their pediatrician or their healthcare provider for resources about how to navigate that conversation. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this information was helpful. For information about children's services at Cone Health, go to conehealth.com children. I'm Christy Milliken.